This is Logan with Aerotoss, and today we're going to be talking about terrain awareness. Terrain awareness allows drones to follow changes in elevation on the ground to ensure consistent quality throughout an entire flight, which is really important for projects that have a lot of elevation change. So in this video, we're going to cover what exactly terrain awareness is, why it's so important, and when you should use it. On normal drone mapping flights, the drone takes off and then flies at the same height above the takeoff point no matter what. Terrain awareness allows the drone to stay at the same height above ground even when there's elevation change. That means that as the elevation goes up, the drone does its best to follow it. However, the drone doesn't actually know where the ground is. Instead, to make terrain awareness work, you have to program the drone with a surface model of the project site that it can then follow. The point of terrain awareness is to keep overlap consistent throughout an entire project site, which is really important for photogrammetry. So the way that that works is on a typically flat project site like this, if you'd imagine this is the ground and this is where the photos are taken, each picture can cover a certain footprint of the ground like this. And there is overlap from one photo to the next. This is the area of overlap that's really important for photogrammetry to work properly and that level of overlap is consistent throughout the entire site, which is what you need to keep accuracy consistent. Now, if there's a lot of elevation change on a site, a big hill like this, well, the first photo has a nice big footprint here. The second photo might have a little bit of overlap with it, but the third photo is so close to the ground that it actually has no overlap whatsoever, which really hurts accuracy and in the worst cases means that you can't actually put anything together or map anything at all. So what terrain awareness actually does is it makes it so that as the terrain goes up, the drone takes pictures from higher altitudes so that when it is taking a photo, it covers more of the ground and actually has enough coverage so that there is overlap, consistent overlap over the entire project to keep your accuracy and quality good throughout the entire project site. Terrain awareness does add complexity and time to the mission planning process, so on relatively flat terrain, there's really no need to use it. As a rule of thumb, if elevation change is more than one quarter of your flight altitude, you should really consider using terrain awareness. If you're planning to fly your site at 200 feet above the ground, then if there's a 50 foot or more elevation change on the site, you should consider using terrain awareness. Likewise, if you're planning to fly at 400 feet above the ground, then you should probably use terrain awareness if there's more than 100 feet in elevation change. Most current autopilot systems do have terrain awareness as an option, and this includes DJI drones. The most recent is their DJI Pilot 2 software, which is the autopilot for the Mavic 3 Enterprise and M300. It's really simple, and it allows you to download a digital surface model directly to your controller. Older DJI drones, like the Phantom 4 RTK, use an older software called GSRTK. It supports terrain awareness, but you have to create the DSM on a computer and import it into the controller using a micro SD card. If you want to read a tutorial on how to do that, see the link in the description below. There are a number of other apps, both for DJI drones and drones from other manufacturers, that also support terrain awareness. So ask your hardware provider what software they recommend for your drone. So those are the basics of terrain awareness. At Aerotoss, our goal is to help land surveyors and civil engineers get the most out of their drone programs. If you have any questions about terrain awareness, or if you wanna know how to get the most out of your drone, please reach out to us using the link in the description below.